Okay, uh, so we go through multi variable functions again. Um, so let's say we are, we are told to say show that if z, a function of z is equal to f over y over x, then um, x squared multiplied by the second partial derivative of z with respect to um, x, as well as uh, we say plus 2xy multiplied by the second partial derivative of z in respect to the first partial derivative of x uh, by the first partial derivative of y uh, plus y squared multiplied by the second partial derivative of z with respect to um, with respect to y. Oh, this is supposed to be y here, not x. Okay, so we're going to use um, y like that. Okay, so um, one thing that you have to understand is that uh, this expression that you have here is the same as we are is the same as it was when talking about uh, functions of independent variables where you have like your y is equals to your f of x okay so now since I don't really know exactly how this what that is I don't know whether it is x squared plus y or something I don't really know what we are going to do is that uh, we are just going to find the what I would call the general derivative of it okay so first of all I would want to find the first partial derivative of z with respect to with respect to x okay so um, how is this going to become so to differentiate this in general okay this is just going to be f prime okay it's just going to be f prime of y over x like that y over x then we are going to multiply it by the the derivative of what we have inside but in respect to what in respect to x so keep in mind that what we have in what we have right here is the same as y x negative 1 like that of which if we differentiate that's just, that's just going to be negative y then x negative 2 which simply becomes negative y over what over x squared like that okay so that would be like minus y over x squared so this one now in, in, ends up to give us like minus y over um, let me just write that minus y uh, f prime of y over x divided by x squared okay so now what we have to do is that again we have to find the um, we have to find the second partial derivative of this this is just the first partial derivative I have to find the second because I'll be dealing with the second partial derivative here okay so how is this going to become so uh, we are going to differentiate this then again we differentiate that with respect to what with respect to x so remember to say uh, when you differentiate this function here what you're going to get is something like f prime prime of what y over x but keep in mind that when when we differentiated this part we got this okay so it's like we still have this part and that part and if you multiply it by what you have here what you're going to end up is something that is, is a positive y squared okay positive y squared divide by x to the fourth okay so it's like this x by that x we get x to the fourth then we have that negative by that negative we get positive y by y we get y squared so what we end up with is that uh, we find that um, the second partial derivative uh, with respect to x is simply y squared then f prime prime of y over x divide by um, divide by x to the fourth like that okay so um, what about the other part um, let me find this one in advance um, then I'll find this one later so uh, the partial derivative of z with uh, the, the, the partial derivative of, of z with respect to uh, y is going to be um, something like uh, we have I'm going to differentiate that in general then also differentiate this so that is like uh, that's simply y multiplied by 1 over x when you differentiate this you're going to get a 1 so the derivative of what you have there of what you have here is simply 1 over what 1 over x multiplied by f prime over y over y over x then you have to find the second partial derivative now so when you differentiate this what you're going to get is f prime prime of y over x differentiate what you have inside you're still going to get 1 over x that is that simply means you're going to have like um, divide by what x squared like that because you're just going to multiply this by another 1 over what 1 over x so it turns out to be like uh, our second partial derivative of z with respect to 
with, re with respect to y is simply f prime prime of y over x okay divide by x squared like that okay so now uh, how do I then come up come up with that one there so there what we do is simply that uh, the, the second partial derivative of z is simply f prime um, f prime prime of y over x but I'm going to multiply by the first partial derivative of x meaning of this part the first partial derivative of x what did we get we got something like um, minus y over x squared that's what we got multiply by the partial derivative first partial derivative of y what did we get we get um, we got something like 1 over 1 over x like that okay so this turns out to be like minus um, y okay f prime prime of y over x divide by um, what do we get on the denominator we get x to the third like that okay so we now find out to say that the second partial derivative of z with respect to the first partial derivative of x uh, by the first partial derivative of, of y is equals to minus y f prime prime y over x divide by uh, x to the third okay so now keep in mind that we have to multiply these uh, what these by what by what we have here what we have here and what we have there then we we try to see what we are going to get so i'm going to multiply this by x squared what how is it going to be so this x squared we are some we are, it's more like we are saying our x squared multiplied by what we have right here so that's like uh, y squared f prime prime of y over x divide by uh, x to the fourth plus that's like 2xy multiplied by what um, multiplied by uh, what we have here which is a minus y uh, f prime prime over y over x uh, divide by x the third and that was that's what we have plus y squared multiplied by what we have here which is a uh, f prime prime of y over x divide by um, x squared like that so trying to break this down let's look at what we get okay so that is going to go we are, we are going to remain with uh, x squared on the denominator so this is just going to be y squared f prime prime over y over x okay uh, divide by divide by x the second uh, that would be minus because of the minus that I have here and the positive when you multiply each other you get the negative so I have like 1x on the numerator and 3x's on the denominator I'm going to cancel out 1 so meaning I'm going to remain with 2 on the denominator and that's like y by y giving me y squared so I have like 2y squared okay then f prime prime of y over what y over x uh, divide by x squared like that then that would be plus we still have like y squared f prime prime of y over x uh, divided by x squared so now let me try to write it this way these have uh, a common denominator which is uh, simply x squared okay so it's like I have um, y okay I have y squared f prime prime of y over x minus 2y squared um, minus 2y squared f prime prime of y over what y over x plus y squared f prime prime of y over x like that Okay, so what you observe is that uh, these two, they are like terms. Okay, or well, in fact, all of them they are like terms. So you observe to say, um, if you add these two, you're going to get, um, you're going to get like uh, two y squared f prime prime of y over x minus two y squared f f prime prime of y over x divided by x squared, of which this here it 
it uh, the difference is going to be zero so it's like zero divided by x squared which is equals to what which is equals to zero and we have shown and that's simply how you go about answering that question um, we are going to come across a lot of questions where we are given um, where we are given in this form uh, such that it's the question seems and like as if it's not finished or something it is finished so uh what we do is that you just differentiate in general the way you would differentiate if it was equals to something that you really know so in this case since i don't really i don't really know what my f of uh, y over x is for me my first derivative of that is simply f prime of what y over x my second derivative is f prime prime of what y over x same applies if i have f x x comma what x comma y i can find this as f prime of what x comma y the second f prime prime of what x comma what x comma y the same applies here okay so that's how you go about um, that question thank you very much for watching